Welcome to Revival Time Hub, the fire shall ever be burning upon the altar, it shall never go out. Hear me please, relationships are a potent leverage. You can hand over relationships and cut short somebody's 10 years of suffering. The third inheritance, God is changing someone's life, your relationships. To the point that when the Holy Ghost, when Jesus was going to heaven, he said, don't worry, there is a relationship I'm about to introduce to you. Don't worry, I am living, but do not cry. There is one called Alos Paracletos, the Paraclet himself. I am about to connect you to a relationship. And when he, that spirit of truth is come, that he will guide you, you will no longer be ordinary men. All it takes is a relationship. Please listen, you have heard me say it, that who hates you does not matter, but who likes you matters. A king hates a woman and without fighting her, she stopped becoming queen immediately. Then the king likes a village woman and immediately she became queen. Please look at me. Can I tell you this? Every great man is great among other factors because of the relationships that protect and defend him at that realm. You have not transferred real wealth until you transfer your relationships. Now, many non-Christians understand this and they begin to program their children. You've seen that happen. They program their children to have strategic relationships, political relationships, economic relationships, judicial relationships, military relationships. Only believers, we pray in tongues and yet we are bankrupt of intelligence. Please sit down. The house of God is a place of wisdom. Shalakos kabrianda katabalada. Next time your child says, I'm ready for my inheritance. Tell him, go to the house of the uncle that helped me and go and wash his car. He says, I'm too big. Say, sit down. You are not ready for a relationship. You are not ready for any inheritance. Don't give him any car key for anything. Give him relationships. Every man is made by his relationships because all blessings come from God through men to men. Nothing comes directly. Comes from God. If God says yes and a physical man says no, that yes will remain in the realm of the spirit there. Is someone learning? Please look up. I can tell you this. My life today is a product of strategic relationships. There are hard things that have become childishly easy because of the leverage of relationships. The relationship with the Holy Spirit. The relationship with strategic men. Please do not downplay the power of relationships. Look at me. How many of you have strategic relationships within the judiciary? If you are in trouble today, nobody loves you enough to help you. You will suffer. Both Satan and men will walk in partnership and rubbish your life because you have not seen the value. Many of you have fought and insulted politicians. You have insulted everyone. The day you now need help and you need the gates to be open for you. There are times that you can be Joseph but you will still be in prison. It will take the king to send for you to come out of your dungeon. Hallelujah. When you see businessmen and politicians, I'm, I'm not marketing any of them, but I'm just teaching you wisdom. You've heard me say it. When a businessman will leave America and come to Nigeria to celebrate the birthday of a two-year-old billionaire son, is the baby his mate? Can the baby talk to him? What do you think he's doing to fly a private jet, hundreds of thousands of dollars to come and greet a baby? Is more than a baby and then he comes with his own children he comes with his own children he says this one is called John whether this one wants to play with him or not he will force that relationship to happen because he knows believers let's learn let's learn let's learn please sit down 
the Bible says which man intending to wage war against a city will first count whether he has what it takes to fight and if he discovers he does not have the next thing is the way of negotiation and relationship for peace to reign there are people today they do not have money but they can cough out billions out of relationships and it will answer in the multitude of men is a king's honor not just the multitude of things to the degree to which you can call on the help of men and they can respond to you with unbending loyalty that is the degree to which you are great value men and value relationships inheritance number three relationships and connections relationships and connections someone once asked me a question one day i told you he said how come you are close to a lot of you seem to have a lot of generals and military people and paramilitary what is between you and military people i said god knows the kind of call upon my life that's why he brought those relationships if you touch me both god and men whether you go to the realm of the spirit or from the physical realm there is a system that's for sure while i'm praying my own oh, listen let me encourage you here please look up let me ask you a simple question i've asked you this but i will ask it again can you mention one person in your life right now who you can actually call and say i need help by 2 a.m and he will wake up and say i value you so much help is coming if you don't have such a person in your life believe me you are sitting on a time bomb there are men of god who love the lord sincerely but they lack strategic relationships i'm not talking of parasitic relationships that every time people see you they know that this taker has come there are people in this nation if their car gets burnt in the next one hour another car is coming even if it's for temporal use they will never be left in shame there are people today if their house gets burnt they will have a place to spend the night can i tell you this among the many things you invest in please invest in men this is the world of men place value on men i was very honored and even flattered when i came in i thought i did something wrong i saw you people shouting and clapping on one hand sincerely i'm a very conservative person i can be shy and except when i'm on stage of course once i'm not on stage when i'm on stage that anointing is on me so I, I don't really care but outside of that i can you know but when i saw you clapping on one hand i felt of course i didn't it wasn't necessary but on another hand i was praying i said lord may somebody learn it who loves you enough to be there for you don't budge into a future you did not invest in and expect a stake in it no who's who did you help to rise when someone was crying were you there to wipe the tears if you were not there when i was in the cave of adulam don't expect an invitation when i'm celebrating listen one of the easiest ways to rise is to find something working and someone rising and be part of the history of growth hallelujah by the privilege of god's grace with the bit that i've been able to do for god in ministry and leadership i've had the honor of seeing some of my dear people within the ministry and by extension spiritually i've seen the mighty and the marvelous things that god continues to do with them in ministry in leadership in business and when i sit with them and they share this with me my heart is genuinely gladdened can I tell you, as tired as I am, there are people when they call, I will wake up. Don't ask me who. If you don't know, you are not it. <laughs> Can somebody see you as being valuable, a valuable contributor to their life? Many of you have knocked on doors and ended up in shame because you use your days of glory thinking about yourself alone and never consider that this is the a world that that is interdependent 
please change and teach your children there are children who are respectfully speaking lousy they don't respect anybody they just believe that things will work out they are not building their track record of relationships because they think they have money or they think they have some kind of thing they laugh at the houseboy laugh at the cleaner laugh at anybody and then the tables just turn sometimes overnight is God giving us wisdom turn to your neighbor and say I value you let me say it now hear me as I'm saying it I value you I value that relationship don't act tomorrow like you don't know me remember koinonia look up please praise the Lord praise the Lord now please look up look up do you know hear me do you know that relationships can create not only leverage they can create exemptions it is true there are people today who have owned land they did not pay for houses they did not pay for relationships paid for it who knows you and loves you by reason of your committal and genuine sincere connection and contribution to their lives there are people everybody who is close to you you have hurt and wounded and caused pain life is watching you tonight is a night of repentance change because you are programming woes over your children whilst you are seated there in one minute please lay your hands on your head and say lord grant me the wisdom the wisdom to maintain strategic relationships and then the wisdom to start connecting my children and my children's children to the strategic relationships that have worked for me please pray you are a young man here pray for the grace to build strategic relationships you are an elderly person pray father the grace to maintain the relationships that have helped my success and that my children will have the discipline and the humility to value relationships your connections your relationships hallelujah praise the name of the lord a true story one of these times i can't remember which which of the years now I was trying to process a visa for one of the nations and then when I was doing my biometrics and I just sat in front and a gentleman saw me and was happy he was rejoicing and he said apostle I can't believe it I said what can't you believe I came to get a visa what kind of embarrassment is this do the needful and let me leave this place and he said no let me tell you a story you had come to preach on our campus so 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 years ago and this and that and that and I'm walking in this place right now and he was laughing he got up and went and spoke something to a woman i don't know what they discussed but he returned back and i laughed i said lord you see how easy some things can be i've shared with you an old story here when we we're in zaria we we're told that story that some people were a gentleman was going to nda and then because of the height requirement he didn't match the height requirement, so they disqualified him. And being saddened, he went and because his father knew the then late Amir, he went to him and said, Sir, they disqualified my son. And then he did not even write. The then Amir, we were told, said he should go back and tell the commandant that the Amir has added his height. That's right. Who can add your height? In this wicked world that we live in please I hope as you are laughing you are taking seriously what I'm saying yes some of you as soon as you finish service even if someone is stretching his hands you can look at him from head to toe no you are not my class be careful be careful don't forget that as tattered as they are looking something came on them in that service treat people with honor treat people with dignity don't treat only wealthy and blessed people with dignity. You are a hypocrite. Treat everybody with honor and dignity. The apostle, he cannot speak English. No problem. Still treats them with honor. 
relationships. Relationships. 